hi everyone welcome back and this is the fourth video on strings so in this video we'll write a program to check if a string is palindrome or not so let us understand what is a palindrome string a palindrome string as you can see here is a word which reads the same from the front and the back for example madam so if you take madam it reads the same from both the ends if you read from the front it is madam and if you read from the back it is again madam another example of a palindrome string is nitin okay so nitin is reads the same from both the sides so we can say a palindrome string is a string which reads the same from the, both the sides or we can say uh, as we can see here the first character matches with the last character second character from the beginning matches the second last character and third character again here we have third at, at the same position okay we do not have a fourth character here we have odd number of characters here so so first position matches with the last position uh, first character the first position matches with the character at the last last position character at the second position matches with the character at the second last position so, uh, so on similarly you can see here nitin n at first character is equal to the last character character at the second position is equal to the character at the second last character so that means the string is same whether you read it from the front or you read it from the back so in this program we will accept the string from the user and we will check if the user if the string entered by the user is a palindrome or not okay so let's open blue j and we have already typed the program here so let's understand this program now because we are going to ex use the scanner class so that is why we have imported this package import java.util.scanner or you can write import java.util.star now we have a class palindrome and you have, we have we have created a method public void cal and we have taken an empty string here s okay now after creating the scanner class object we will accept the string that means here s is equal to sc dot next so before we do this we can just type a message uh, system dot out dot print ln enter a string okay so after entering this message now here we have we've used um, uh, the next method here and not the next line method because we are just going to accept one word and not a sentence now i've taken uh, these four variables here i j l and f now in the variable l we are going to store the length of the string by making use of length method so s is the string s dot length will give us the length of the string okay now for he here we start the for loop for i is equal to zero that means starting position and is always zero in a string okay the first uh, the uh, character the first position uh, would be the zero position okay so comma j is equal to l minus one now l is the length so if we take an example here uh, let us say the string entered by the user is madam okay now in this case i was pointing to m and j is pointing to l minus one so what is the length here length would be one two three four five remember when you're uh, counting the length or finding out the length then you have to start counting from one not from zero so length of madam is five so the value of l would be five so what is the value of j j becomes l minus one that means five minus one four now for i is equal to zero j is equal to four that means j is at which position j is referring to the character at fourth position what is the fourth position now position or index always starts from zero so zero one two three four so what is the character of the fourth position it is this last n okay i less than l i plus plus comma g minus minus now we move on to the next statement here scar ch1 is equal to s dot char at i i is zero so that means character at the first position we know that this caret method accepts a string or uh, accepts a sorry index or a position so i is the position that means the character at the zero position that means m so the value of ch1 would be m and s uh, ch2 is equal to s dot caret j what is j j is 4 so what is the character at the fourth position as i just told you 0 1 2 3 4 so the character of character at the fourth position is m so if it is not if ch1 is not equal to ch2 okay in that case we know that it is not a palindrome string because if a, if a string is palindrome then the character at the first position would always be equal to the character at the last position so whenever 
we come across a situation in which the first in which the characters are not equal we know it is not a palindrome string and we will not continue with the loop we will come out of the loop so how do we come out of the loop by writing this break so when you put a break keyword here it will bring you out of the loop remember out of the loop not out of the if statement here so where is the loop ending the loop is ending here so the this break statement brings you to this if which is outside this for loop okay right and uh, what is the purpose of this f is equal to 1 now before we break out of the loop we have taken initially the value of f to be 0 and when we come out of the loop uh, before coming out of the loop we change the value of f to be 1 so when we come out of the loop here we are checking if the value of f is 0 then the string is palindrome else it is not a palindrome so see in this case when the characters are not equal the value of f would have become 1 so when the value of f is 1 it will go into the ends and it will print not palindrome now let us take up this case this particular example where um, let's suppose the user enters madam now first character ch1 would be m and ch2 would also be m so this if this condition is not true so this will not enter the if now next time i becomes plus i plus plus and j minus minus that means initially i was 0 so now i becomes 1 and initially j was length 5 minus 1 4 so j becomes 3 so what is the character at the one position it is a and what is the character at the third position it is again a so here again ch1 is equal to ch2 so this condition is false so it does not enter the if now i becomes 2 and j also becomes 2 earlier it was 3 so now what is the character at 2 position it's 0 1 2 that means d so ch1 is also d and ch2 is also d so now again they are equal so it does not enter this f so now when we the for loop is completed once the for loop is completed because i will uh, now change to uh, 3 and uh, this um, j would again change to 2 so this loop will continue like this and since all the characters are equal uh, when it comes out of the loop the value of f would still be 0 and it would print the message palindrome now let's just take another string which is not a palindrome let's suppose the string entered by the user is hello now in this case what is the value what is the character at 0 position it is h what is the character at uh, what is the length of the string 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 5 minus 1 what is the value of j 4 so what is the character at fourth position it is o 0 1 2 3 4 so character at fourth position is o so if ch1 is not equal to ch2 yes it is true because h is not equal to o so it comes it enters the if it changes the value of f to 1 and it breaks out of the loop so when it breaks out of the loop it will come here now what is the value of f it has changed it is not 0 so it comes to the ends and it prints it is not a palindrome so now let us compile this program and run it let us see how what is the output okay how it runs so we have compiled it we do not get any syntax errors here so let's minimize this and uh, let's run it okay so right click new palindrome okay and right click void can okay now let us enter a string here which is let us enter madam okay so when you enter madam so see it is palindrome okay let us run it once more uh, now let us enter a string which is not a palindrome hello so hello is not a palindrome so this is how we can check whether a string is palindrome or not so i hope you like the video and please don't forget to click on the bell icon and do subscribe to the channel estudies estudy.in thanks for watching